horizontal versus vertical bar graphs. A bar graph is a diagram made up of bars whose heights or lengths represent the frequencies of the different categories of data. It is used to compare two or more values of categorical variables. Bar graphs can be oriented either horizontally as horizontal bar graphs or vertically as vertical bar graphs, also known as column charts. Though vertical bar graphs are more common, horizontal ones are easier to read since the layout is just the same as how we process information, as many people read from left to right. The horizontal bar graph is a better choice for variables with long category names because there is more space on the left side of the chart for the long axis labels. This is usually the case when you have nominal data. Vertical bar graphs, on the other hand, are used when you have ordinal data. So let's look at this example of a categorical variable, reasons for not receiving the diphtheria vaccine. This variable produces nominal data with the categories having long names, and we can see the corresponding percentages for each category. If we wanted to represent this using a vertical bar chart, we would have had to put the long category labels like this, where there is no much space at the bottom, or we may have even seen people putting the long categorical labels diagonally like this. So we have long labels here and diagonal labels here. This is a big no-no. Please never do any of these. Putting it like this is very difficult to read and it is also not visually appealing. It defeats the purpose of a bar graph. If you have to put categorical labels diagonally in a vertical bar graph or you have to put long label names like this, then a horizontal bar chart is a better choice for such situations. Period. This situation is a perfect example of when to use horizontal bar graphs. So putting this correctly, our horizontal bar chart will look like this. Whoa, looking cool and nice. And now you can see we have been able to use the space on the left to write our label names clearly. Awesome. On the other hand, if your data was ordinal, meaning the categories have a natural order, a vertical bar chart is a better choice because placing the bars vertically from left to right in that order is more logical. For example, the age group of women attending antenatal care will be better put in a vertical bar graph like this. We can see here, irrespective of the frequency, each group must be arranged in the correct order from the smallest age group to the largest age group and from left to right. Awesome. So to recap, bar graphs could be oriented either horizontally or vertically. Horizontal bar graphs are easier to read and mainly used for nominal data or in situations where the categories have long names. While vertical bar graphs, though more common, are mainly used for ordinal data. Easy peasy. Now if you found this video useful and you want to support my efforts, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting statistical videos. And if you want to learn everything about bar charts, check out the full video here. And to learn more about histograms, check out this video right here. And as always, thanks for watching.